I would like to convince you that this is the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm hopeful. I'm a father. I have to be. I don't have a choice. Uh, since eight years, I've been organizing tournaments for children. Children who are uh, 9 to 16 years old. Uh, they come together. Uh, they work together for about 10 to 14 weeks. And they find solutions, they develop solutions to global issues. They start with an idea. They live a process. They find solutions and then they share and present their ideas. They form communities. The concepts that uh, appeal to me here and that those excite me about, or those that give me hope regarding the future are just these very concepts. Idea, the process, working together in teams and building communities and finding solutions um, together with other people. In the big picture, we have some big failures. I'm sure you are aware of them. We have built up, build, build ups and uh, meltdowns, build ups of power, concentration of power, inequalities, and we have meltdowns, ecological, energy related, food related. And we have questions regarding our value, each one of us, whether we have any meaning at all in this world. Now, how am I going to... Uh, I want to tell you one more thing about uh, this event. Actually, just about seven weeks ago, in this uh, very hall, conference hall, we had 700 kids coming from 22 different cities in Turkey and uh, there was an incredible amount of excitement in the air. Um, the, the thing that excites me uh, about this is once you, you've been to a tournament once, you are hooked. You are looking for another one and another one. This is the excitement. It's not a great photograph, but it shows you what I'm trying to convey. Um, now, how are these children going to find solutions? Um, just about 12 years ago, I was working on an ISP business plan, an internet service provider business plan. And I came to realize, uh, I asked myself, what is an ISP? And at the time, I realized that the global financial community valued, financially valued uh, ISPs according to the loyal subscribers they had. So I said, an ISP is a loyal community. And uh, I was trying to build an entity that had value. So I said, concluded that building value, just the way I show it here, that building value is equivalent to building lo loyal communities. Um, many people might have known about this uh, earlier. I just realized it at the time. So I said, um, how our communities are formed? Uh, we start with an idea. In fact, each idea is a community. Just think about it. We have small ones and big ones. And I represent graphically any idea as a vortex. Um, the idea is right in the center and the ideas just pull people together com and build communities. Um, then I said, how do you build a loyal community? And started questioning, okay, I know that we're going to start, uh, we're going to reach uh, a loyal community at the end, but how do we, what are the steps? Or are there any steps? So let me walk you through or walk you backwards from the loyalty towards wherever, uh, whatever starts a loyal community. Um, here I am a person, 
I'm going to build a loyal community, and I start with the word loyalty and walk backwards. Loyalty, firstly, is the last step. And what is the previous step? Previous step is just community. Without loyalty. And the one before, I questioned. I didn't have an answer immediately. This is a process that took over uh, six months. Uh, I'm telling you in a few minutes, but it took six months to come up with this. Um, I tried bringing people together, and I realized that I, whatever I offered, they would not come together. So uh, I've tried, I failed, I tried, failed, and uh, I had one more try, and I suggested that what if we all learn together, and they all agreed? So I said, learning is yet another step in this picture. Um, and I said, how does learning happen? What are the components of learning that anyone could accept? So I said, we speak and we listen. And before speaking, I have to be alive. And my experiences told me the step before this is sincerity. Now, I'm just going to have you look at it, and I'm going to try to verify the concept in front of you. The sincerity between a husband and wife produces life. Life speaks, listens. By, uh, listening and, uh, by speaking and listening, learns. By learning, is he or she is in a community. And by being loyal to the community, builds value. Remember, this was the direction that we wanted to go to from the beginning, building value. So this is how I verify it. But just to make sure that you understand the concepts that I'm trying to convey uh, clearly, I'm just going to put uh, labels next to these concepts. Instead of loyalty, we can use perseverance. Instead of community, we can just use sharing. Instead of learning, we can use interaction. Instead of listening, we can use receiving, expression, and give for speaking, and for life, respecting all, and for sincerity, the intention. I realize that I have been building communities all my life, and I realize that I have been using these concepts uh, forever. These are the, this is the concept that I call a universal interface. We are all born with it. At least I believe that we are all born with it. Just look at the things that you have been successful in and test the concepts yourselves. You will probably find yourself that you have been applying the same concepts without really realizing them explicitly. We don't need to realize them explicitly if they are already within us. So this is, um, this is a concept that, that gives me hope, the fact that we are all born with the universal interface. So how are we going to find the communities and how are we going to um, uh, come up with solutions to the big failures? My answer is just use the universal interface. I'm going to write, uh, I said, what is the intention? That was my first step, sincerity intention. What is the intention of the universal interface? And the intention is building, building value, building value continuously. And I can even write a sentence uh, for example, build lasting value with highest positive impact on all life forms. Just one simple sentence, 11 words. Can you think of any organism, any institution, or any individual who would not agree with this? I repeat, can, can you look inside yourself and say, I don't agree with this? or think of a company, or an institution, or even a country who would not agree with this. Because if you can, please share with me. I have not been able to find this yet. But if you cannot, it means that it's possible to come up with a constitution 
that unites us all, just starting with one word, build. Uh, it's just an example of how this approach can be used. It is not the only method. I just wanted to give you an example. Um, I, was, I was at a conference and I realized, um, uh, and one of the speakers said something about the word education uh, just about 12 years ago. And at that conference, I realized um, that maybe words are also extremely important. I said, words are what make up our ideas. So if we are starting, if an idea is a community, what is the idea made of? Ideas are made of words, or concepts are made of words, in fact. So if we are going to build, if we are trying to change the future, if we are trying to bring positive change, uh, we have to start with the right words so that we can have the right ideas, so we can have the right community to change. So at the, in the next slide, I'm just going to suggest that we use less of certain words and more of other words and, or concepts. For example, competition, we should use less of. Why? Because it brings out com um, individuality. It brings out individuality. And if we are basing things on individuality, we are not going to build communities. We're not going to be working as teams. So instead of competition, let's use hand in hand. Uh, another concept pair that I'm going to suggest, result and process. All of our lives are based on results, in particular our educational system. We have exams, so the results are extremely important. But if, we, if the results are important, then the process is ignored. But if the process is ignored, then the value building, the building value is, is ignored. So we cannot be building of so, something of value if we just use the words result or if we live a life uh, that concentrates on the result, but not on the process of achieving the result. It's the process that produces, if we concentrate on the result, we're probably just wasting our lives. If we concentrate only on results, we are probably wasting our lives. Uh, the next concept pair that I'm going to talk about is uh, culture. Globally, uh, the word culture, by the politicians and by the media, is used as uh, being something, as an attribute, as a state. You are just something. But in fact, the word culture is, comes from French, cultive, cultivate, it means to grow. It's an action. It's, it has something to do with doing, not, it doesn't have anything to do with being. And the more we use, the more we hear uh, culture as being something, uh, the more uh, society becomes, uh, it's just easier for, for politicians to push us one way or another. And the more we convey to people that culture is doing something, uh, the more we are uh, going to uh, bring positive change. Uh, so, we have covered a direction of life, building, building value, building loyal communities, uh, as well as a universal interface, a constitution, and words for positive change. May they be our framework for, to fix the big failures. Um, I have a dream. I have a few. I have a dream that one day personal, corporate, and international relations are going to be based on sincerity. I have a dream that authoritarian, authoritarian regimes accept the fact that respect of life 
and respect for uh, expression, uh, freedom of expression, speaking, is what uh, it are the only ways to bring value to a community, to their citizens. And I hope the communities, the citizens, demand these things. I have a dream that we all start listening to each other much better, ourselves, the nature, our partners, our children. I have a dream that politicians will unite us through learning, as opposed to separating us or categorizing us according to our differences. And I have a dream that the universal interface will play an important role in fixing the problems of the big picture. Because a new beginning is required. Our future is demanding a new beginning. And this, the universal interface can make this happen. Just look at this um, and look at his eyes. This is a person who works, who lives, who works on the project that I had just described earlier, and who finds meaning and who finds trust. And the path that I've described is really to put meaning and trust back into our lives so that we feel part of constructing something positive. And, I mean, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I really don't think I'm alone. Thank you.